What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step-by-step -step on how to draw a simple boxer dog. Let's begin today's lesson by creating a basic shape of the dog's head. We're gonna start from the very top. Using the side edge of our pencil, we're gonna sketch out a circle. Going all the way around. Bring that down towards the bottom. And go all the way around the right side. Now with our circle in place, we want to add a set of guidelines. Let's add two lines coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start on the left, extend this line going up and then down. Now let's move over towards the right and do the same thing. Now right where this line meets the side of the circle, we're going to draw a straight line going across towards the left. And then we'll extend that across the circle towards the right side. Now because we're drawing the dog from the side, we want to locate the edge of the nose. So from this line, let's step out, start with the mark. I'm just going to slope this down and out towards the left, towards the bottom. Now we want to round out the bottom edge of the muzzle, starting up here, come down across that line, and then we'll bend that in towards the bottom of our circle. From the bottom of this curve, draw a straight line going out towards the jaw. And then from the end, it's going to angle the jaw coming down and in. And then pull that straight across towards the right. Now I want to round out the top edge of the muzzle. Starting from this line, curve this in and then up towards that line. And then from here, it's going to round out the top of the head going up and then back towards the right side. Let's locate the eye on the inside of that circle. So right here, sketch a small circle. Let's add a little bit more detail to the mouth. From the bottom of our circle, it's going to angle this down and angle that back up towards this line. Now let's go to the back of the head. We're going to slope the neck going out and then we'll bend that down. Let's go to the bottom of our circle, curve the neck going in, and then straight down. Now from here we're going to layer the ear on top of the head. Let's start from the top of our circle, start with a straight line going across, just past the side of the neck, and we'll pull this down and in towards the bottom with a straight angled line. Now once we have the basic shape of the head, we're going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. We'll also erase out that circle. Now that we have a clean drawing, let's add a second level of detail. Let's start with the eyelid. From the top of our circle, step up. It's going to angle this down and back across the top of the eye. And it will separate out the nose, starting from this point curve this in and then down, angle this down and out towards the edge of the muzzle. Let's add the tongue in between the muzzle and the jaw. So starting here, then this out and then down. Now we're going to add a guideline for that wrinkle across the face. Starting from this point, come down, go across. That's going to bend this up around the corner of the mouth, round this out, and then pull that down towards the bottom. Let's go back and add some shape to the ear. We're going to connect these two points with a curve, going up and then down. Let's round up the left side of the ear, coming in, pull that down, round up the bottom, pull that down towards that point, round up the bottom, and then go up towards the right. Now once we're happy with the basic shape of the head, we're going to go back in with a tiffer pencil and start adding some details. Let's start with the eye. Starting from the eyelid. Just going to darken this up, coming down. And we'll trace out the contour of the eye. And pull that up underneath. Now I'm going to add some detail to the inside of the eye, starting with the outer edge of the iris on the right side. Let's add a small highlight square on the top right. 
darken up the center of the pupil, going around that highlight. I'm just going to blend that out along the side, just feathering it. Then using the side edge of a pencil, we'll just shade in the inside of the iris. Again, going around that highlight. I'm going to darken up the outer edge and just fade that in. Now from here, I'm just going to move back to the side edge of my pencil and start working my way out from the eye. Just adding a little bit of fur texture, just roughly blocking this in. And working our way down. And we'll add a dark fold along the inside, coming down towards the mouth. And we're just adding a light shade to the inside of the head. And now we're just going to work our way across towards the front of the nose. Now we're just adding a little bit more shape and definition as we go. So we're just working our way down towards the corner of the mouth. Now we'll go back and add in the nostrils. I'm just going to add a little bit of a shadow along the bottom edge of the muzzle. Just to cast that shadow. I'm just adding a little bit of detail to the inside. Darken up the inside of the mouth and just blend that down.
Now from here we're just going to start adding some detail and shadows to the ear. the ear a shade darker than the rest of the body. I'm just going to go back to darken this up. And then use this vertical motion with a pencil to add a little bit of fur texture. And now we're just adding a light fur texture to the inside of the neck.
And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, I'll add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign my artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a boxer dog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.